What's up, Havis here with another critical hit tier list, but this time we're throwing it back to the GBA days. That's right, we're gonna be ranking all of the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem games and their critical animations that lie within. It's gonna be a fun time, man. These animations go so hard, they just don't make them like they used to in this way, you know, the old sprite days. It'll be nice to revisit a bit down memory lane and see some awesome sprite work. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, first up is Roy. I'm not a, I haven't played FE6 that much, so I don't know this off by heart. Let's see what Roy's got in store. All right, simple, short and sweet. Magic Sword. That one's cool. I like that animation. That's the Master Lord animation, so I guess technically a different class. And he gets a flame effect on his Magic Sword there, too. Alright, that's Roy. Now, in terms of the tiers we've got today, uh, we're going from S to D. We're keeping it simple today. No, no emojis, no... Nothing like that. I, I think Roy is a clean... This is clean B, right? There's nothing flashy over the top. It's short, sweet, clean. Nothing crazy. A bit of flame for some flair, but it is it is pretty simple. And I'm already realizing a big problem. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing Roy in this template. Uh, I think I... <laughs> like me, man. All right, we're on we're on an FE6 tier list now, and uh, there's Roy. Hey, how you doing, Roy? Oh, uh, we meant it all along. There he is. Roy's in B, baby. Three taps for each game. I think I unironically will need to do that. All right, next up, next up. I believe we got Lin, and there's a lot of Lin animations. So it's Lin time. Oh, that's classic. That is classic. Magic Sword is like default stuff. Yo, these these animations are so good. We got the bow ones, a little twirl, classic twirl. Whoa, that's a beta animation, okay. And the soul caddy crit. Hell yeah. Those are so good. They're they're classy. They're super classy. I love even the trail end of these animations are so good. I think at least Lin immediately. Those animations are so sick. At least A, right? But S. You could... The argument for S is there, right? The argument for S is there. Yeah, S, S, S. Someone donate for S. Okay. I'm so apprehensive about going straight to S right off the bat. There is so little frame of reference. Where are the rich Lin fans? Okay, look. I'm sticking with A. We will have to revisit and see later if it's truly an S tier as a lot of chat is saying, okay? Who we got? Who we got? I believe it's Ellie Wood next. All right. Standard. Very Roy-esque. Whoa. I kind of like that. That one's all right. Still very cookie cutter at this point. You know, mm, we'll see. Well, okay, these are beta animations. These don't count. <laughs> these are not S, by the way. I can sit off the bat. All right, Durandal, this one counts. This is a real Durandal animation. <laughs> okay, I think Ellie Wood overall is... They're, they're too simple. I'm not feeling those. I'd say B maximum. B max. No way that's an A. No way that's an A. But uh, something's also telling me C. Roy had the flames. Ellie Wood just had the twirls, and that's it. Just a little twirl, the twirl and bam. The twirl and bam with a little horse nay nay in there. There's, there's very little special about it, right? I don't know. I feel like C very much justified there. At least Roy has twirl slab, twirl slab, has twirl stab with flames, you know? So I think C is where I'm gonna stick. I think C is where I'm gonna stick. Next up, we've got Hector. I, you know what? You know what's funny? When you look at the YouTube retention graphs and you see the spikes, anytime I'm hovering over and I'm seeing a spike, I see a spike right here for Hector at the latter end, so I'm sure we're in for a treat. 
All right, base and simple. Nice hand axe toss. Again, pretty simple. All right, our mats better deliver because these are basic. Let's see. Soar. I, okay. I'm waiting for Durandal here. Not Durandal. I'm waiting for um for our mats. Here we go. Our mats, baby. Our mats time. Let's see it. Okay. In no way is that S. I'm saying that off the bat. Okay, half of those were Hector just... You know? Like, it, it just... Hector would just go like... And that was the, the animation. The only one that had flair with Armads. And even then... Like, if it weren't for Armads... Easy C and maybe even D. Armads alone is like... It, it, it can't carry that high. I think we're gonna have to go... I think B. B or high C? I mean, I'm debating high C, honestly. And if it's B, just for reference, if it is B, it's lower than... Oh, is it lower than Roy? I don't know. Maybe a... Hmm. This is tough. This is... I think I'm gonna stick with B here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with B for now. We've got Erica coming up next. All right, some more standard stuff. That's a beta animation. Ignore the beta animations. They're cool, but... <laughs> Magic Sword! Yeah, I, this animation... Okay, well that's it. Not much to work with there. You hate to see it. I, I mean, there's just not much happening there. Some were alright, some were okay. I don't know about that one. I think that's a pretty easy low one here. Also, they, they got split up between the classes. I think regardless, they might both be at the bottom. There's nothing there. There's nothing to work with here. It's just... Stab. But with like, a different sound effect. I'll just be blunt. They both deserve to be down here in D tier. Not to say they're bad animations, they're good animations. But in a game like this, it's not gonna cut it. Yeah, it's tough competition, exactly. This is a... Probably one of the toughest competitions in terms of any of my critical hit tier lists I've done. This is up there in terms of the most competition to get into those top tiers. Like, there's so much high quality here. We got... Ephraim. Let's see if Ephraim can save it for the duo, for the sibling duo. Some more twirls. He's really twirling. <laughs> He's twirling. <laughs> He's gonna twirl on this one too. Hell yeah, he's twirling. <laughs> he was twirling. He was just twirling. You know what? Next time I'm at war, you know, when I'm when I'm fighting on the front lines, I'm gonna like you gotta do like a gun spin, like like that's how you do crits, right? You just gotta spin the thing a lot. I I think it's in B. It's definitely cooler, a bit more interesting than Ellie Woods. And I think they both end up in B here. They are separated in terms of their classes here. The animations are functionally the same. One is just on a horse. You've got spinning on the ground and spinning on a horse. Those are your animations here. Yeah, I think I think B is gonna be be where it stands. What if the horse spun? Okay, if the horse spun, then we can talk. That would have been a different story, but you know, I don't think Ephraim's got the. Actually, no. I I'd want to pat. I want to put past Ephraim to do that. Ephraim could definitely pull that off. And now I'm thinking about if someone could make that a reality, if you, any of y'all are talented with the GBA shit, with the sprite editing and animation, uh, I need to see that. That'd be so fucking funny. Easy S if the horse twirls, of course it's S if the horse twirls. Have us here with a quick interruption. Did you know over 66% of my audience is actually not subscribed? So if you've been enjoying uh, the tier list, the crit tier list, all the other stuff I've been doing, YouTube plays Fire Emblem, all the rest, be sure to drop below, hit subscribe, and join all these wonderful people in chat as well who are also all subscribed. That's all from me. Please subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video. Next up, I think we're getting into the classes because we've got Recruit. Recruit class. I don't even remember what this looks like. We'll see what it's got. <laughs> I like that one a lot, actually. I like that one a lot. <laughs> Wait, we'll play that one again. <laughs> that one's good. The stumble crit, that's so distinct. And then the second animation is a standard twirl. I like that one a lot. It's so silly. It's, it, it, it's nice. It's nice. It's so silly, but I like it. 
I prefer those over Ephraims. They've got a lot of personality. B, I, I like it more than Ephraims. I could go A. It doesn't deserve Lin's. You know what? Fair enough. If Lin's A, then I think B, yeah. I think B is right. It, it's got a unique, distinct personality to it, plus a standard twirl. Lin should be S. You know what? I'm gonna be hearing this until the end of the stream, so let's just settle this now. Let's just settle this now. It's time for some. Obama, Obama. Let's just pull it. In S or A tier, poll is up now. You just gotta let me know. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna leave it to you, the great voters of this nation, to decide. With 92 votes in, it's already, it's not even close. <laughs> it, it's not even close. Lynn absolutely smashing this one open. Fair enough. Lin S it is. We're moving after Recruit to Soldier. The Soldier crit animation, what have we got in store for this one? Oh, it's just... <laughs> that's it. There you go. That's the Soldier animation. Just... I think that's an easy one. Although, Soldier, I think, is only an enemy class. It might not even be here. Yeah, it's not there. That's what I thought. I think we're not gonna... We're not gonna rank them then. I, I mean, we can. I think it's D. I'll just say what tier it is. It's a D tier one. I, I don't know if anyone's seen a soldier crit in their entire lives. I don't think I have. If I did see one, if I did have one, then I, I think I'd be D. Bare bones, simple. Anyways, next up, it's the knight. This is a 3% crit, by the way. <laughs> Let's see what the knight has got in store. Whoa, triangle attack? Goddamn. I think that's a that's a C. There's not a lot going on there, but not zero. It's very much a, it's like the twirl lunge, right? Just kind of classic, nothing to it, no flair, no spice, nothing unique, but still not bad. I think C is a, a pretty good place for the knight to go in here. And I especially think so relative to our next ranking. This is an all time classic right here. I know this one very well. It's such a cool animation. Let's see it. Oof. Let's fucking go. Oh, the chain recoil is so cool. Ooh. Oh, now you're trying to go attack. That's such a cool animation, man. Those animations are so, so cool, bro. They're so cool. They just exude this, like, lumbering, extreme power. Well, especially the general, like, the Lance one right at the, the front with the... Like... And then the recoil on the chain, or like the pullback of the chain on the axe when it's hit. Minimum A. A minimum A, and I'm borderline S on this. That is just such a beefy, beautiful animation. A minimum. A, not as good as Lin. I think it's maybe, hmm. It's the great thing about chat. I can see A feels good, doesn't have the wow factor. And then right below, general is better than Lin, at least. Just classic chat stuff. You know what? This one does seem very divided. So it might be time already to do some more. Soda! Poll going up now. This one might be a bit tighter than the previous one on Lin. I feel there was very much a consensus with Lin. And out the gate, we've already got a close one. 60-40 with 75 votes in. 58-42, I don't know if S has enough votes to make it up. A winning by a 10% margin. A 5% swing. And that's going to result, in general, staying in A tier. We've got the Cavaliers. These ones are probably pretty short and sweet. We'll see what the Cavs have got. Yeah, it's about what I thought. Probably something similar here for the jab, yeah. Yeah, not much to really add there on that one. They're basic, but they're supposed to be basic. I, I think ultimately, Cav, you probably end up around with the generals here in, in C, right? Baby's first crit? Yeah, baby's first crit. Doesn't have that wow factor. Let's keep moving on. We've got uh, the Paladin. But oh my god, look at that YouTube retention bar. Nobody watching the Paladin animations. Let's see them though. Let's see if maybe the retention graph is proven wrong. Oh, the charge is fun. I like the charge. That's cool. 
hefty j hefty throw. I love I love the horse charge. That's so fun. Yeah, that that's a good animation. That's a good animation. Those are a lot of fun. The horse is carrying. Yeah, the horse is carrying. I agree. I, I think that goes straight to A. General's still higher. I think General's still higher. The charge is so much cooler than, honestly, than the generic twirl. Here's the thing. Everyone's got a twirl, right? But that horse kind of do-do, 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 do-do. And then like the almost teleport after. Like, that's so fun. It's so fun. It's not as high as maybe general in A tier, but I think mid or low A tier is a good fit for that. Here we go. Great night coming up next. Not much going on that one. Still not a lot going on here. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> what, what? This is so wacky to me. How can you go from Paladin going so hard to such a similar class with Great Knight going so mid? What was going on there? I'm not a huge fan of that one. Armor too heavy? I don't care if the armor's too heavy. You can still be cool with armor on. I mean, the general proved it. Uh, apparently, uh, you put a general on a horse and they just lose all their swag. Their swag stat hits zero. Uh, Great Knight, I think bottom of C. Yeah, bottom of C, maybe even D. I think down down here though, definitely on the bottom end of uh, of the tier list for sure. All right, coming up next, we've got Thief. I think there's only one Thief animation, so let's see what Thief's got. I think those are the only two animations, right? Yeah. That's a fun one. I, I think ultimately nothing to write home about. Actually, is Thief in this game or is it gonna just go to Rogue? It's bottom left. Oh, is, is it? Is this here? This is, you can't even see anything on this one. It's just the cape. It is just the cape. Uh, I'm thinking top of C or bottom of B. It's still basic and simple, but it's a good basic simple animation and it's just better than the other kind of basic animations. That brings us to Rogue. Rogue coming up next. <laughs> Well, that's a fun one. Magic sword crits don't count, period, I don't think. <laughs> Man, I, re I really like the animation on that one. It looks really clean. I don't think you can justify A, but I think B is, is, a, is a good place. Uh, Rogue, oh my god. Pathis find a class in a timely manner challenge. Impossible difficulty. I literally can't see it. Where the fuck is it? Next to Ranger? It's this, is this, so it's this one. Okay, I, I just, this looks like a bow to me from a range. Anyways, I think low B, it's really the thief animation, but better. Just straight up. Better than Ephraim? I, I don't know about better than Ephraim. Ephraim the Twirl Master, maybe... Just that animation, I don't think quite reaches that. But I think bottom B is a good place. All right, next up, looks like Myrmidon. Ooh, that's classic. That's just straight iconic. But then you have to consider Swordmasters coming up right after. Bottom A? Top of B? I don't think it's S. I don't think it's S. Bottom A? Yeah, it's between top B, bottom A for me. I think it's definitely an iconic animation. Like that crit animation is probably one of the first crit animations like everybody saw when they first played like the GBA games. What an animation to start. Yeah, I thought at this point, Pavis make a disclaimer. Yeah, just ignore the magic sword attacks. They don't count. <laughs> Everyone's looks pretty much the same. But yeah, Murbadon, I think low A, but you know what? I want to see Swordmaster so we can adjust to right now. And then magic sword doesn't exist. The Swordmaster's better, right? It's kind of on a Lin level. Like Swordmaster, I think maybe you get an argument for being even higher. I think Murbadon gets outclassed. Swordmat does it get to S? We haven't had an S yet. Murbadon bottom A, Swordmaster top S. If this is S, so is Lin. We we do have Lin and S. So this would be on par with our previous precedent here of Lin being S as well. I, I think S makes the most sense here. It's on par with Lin, and yeah, putting this in A when Lin's is in S when it's pretty much a reskin doesn't really make sense. So you know what? I think this actually looks good. Next up is Assassin. Hi, hi. Ooh, that's fun.
this is this is a good animation to be sure this is a good animation i think we're looking at least b here i, I don't think it's as good as a myrmidon on par with general no this is a myrmidon level here i think general and paladin are still better it doesn't have that massive flair and pizzazz to be an s assassin in mid a is where i'm at anyways next up we've got the mercenary And then Magic Sword ignored. <laughs> this one is a solid one. The other thing is you've got Hero coming up next. Before we've even seen Hero, we've got Daniel and we've got the cooler Daniel, right? Like, that's basically this animation here with the mercenary. You know what, let's just play Hero. We'll play Hero and you'll see what I mean. Oh, like that's just literally the same thing but better. <laughs> I think Hero is an easy A, right? Is Merc A2? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Merc is in B, probably. Uh, doesn't Hero have Axe? Wait, you're right. We're not done with the hero animations. That's my bad. It's the same thing. <laughs> and then Hand Axe. It, it's, it's functionally the same thing still. I think Hero's A tier. It's on par with Assassin in my mind. I like both of these animations. I think I prefer Hero personally over the Assassin one. Merc? Merc is probably in here in B. I think top of B. I pay for you, Merc and A. Are you cashing in your membership now to get Merc and A? $5 is a thing. A membership is $5. $5 to move a tier is not usually the play, all right? What about now? Okay, maybe now you make a good argument. That's a pretty solid argument. Uh, We got Journeyman coming up next. All right, simple and sweet. Hand axe, anything beyond hand axe? Nope. All right, that was a pretty short and sweet one. Uh, it wasn't bad, it was, still was fun. C, C. If it's C, it's getting near the top of C, I will say. It does have a bit of spice, yeah. I don't think it's spiceless. I, I think it's definitely better than the night, I agree. If it's in C, it's top C. Nice kind of like home run call kind of energy to it, you know? Not much else to add to that one. Simple, short, sweet. Yeah, next up, we got Dorcas. What happened to Dorcas? Dorcas a mod check. Here we go, fighter animation. Holy shit. I, I need a replay on that one, that one's fast. That one caught, that one jump scared me. I just got jump scared by a fighter crit animation. That's a cool one. I like that one. Again, we've got, the sequel is coming up right after this. So I think tentatively, we got Berserker up next. I know Berserker also goes hard. I think fighter B, top B? That's pirate. I'm fucking stupid. Don't worry. I swear, I, I swear I play Fire Emblem, okay? I swear I play Fire Emblem. Okay, this, is this fighter and this is Berserker then? No, this is fighter. No, this is fight. I'm fucking, uh, I swear I play this game. Fighter, fighter, top of B. Anyways, warrior coming up next. Yeah. That's, that's an all-time classic animation. I mean, even that hand axe animation is swag as hell. Okay, just... Gonzalez, chill, Gonzalez. Holy shit. <laughs> Put Gonzalez on the soundboard? I might do that. Uh, where we put a warrior? I think, you know what? I'm seeing chat a little divided on this one. S tier for warrior, thanks. All right, we got a tenor drop. Here's the thing, I'm not opposed at all. I think warrior S tier makes sense. I think it's a really cool, distinct, iconic animation and going into S seems all right. Next up, who is screaming? Gonzalez was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> we got the brigands, baby. Uh, it's already the pirate. I want to hear that again. Like, Gonzalez fucking just screaming his head off. You know, if anything, it, it's quite unique. <laughs> and now I have to remember which is a brigand. I, I I don't think brigand's on the list here. Gonzalez, Gonzalez. Yeah. You know what? S tier for that scream. Is he the only one that gets a voice line? Hey, this is the only crit quote in the entire fucking video so far. That's avant-garde. That's, that's innovation. And who we got him next? I think we got the pirate. Whoa, that, that was interesting. Hand axes, whatever, it's a hand axe. Right, we'll go back and do one more on, uh, on pirate. Kind of basic, ultimately, though, at the end. There's not much happening. C, C, D. I, I think C at best. It's like, it's on great night level. It's low C and arguably D. 
be at least for dual wield axes I, I don't see going much higher than c here it's kind of really basic and it's kind of similar to the great knight in what it's doing you know what erica needs some company and you know what? I'm not even opposed to this going down to D. And you know what? I'll do this too. Great Knight can also go down to D. Great Knight can also eat my shorts, okay? Absolutely nothing burger crit animations. Next up, next up, next up. What has Berserker got? Bit of heft to that. And Axe now. Oh, now we got specifically Hawkeye is just gonna go fucking off the rails here, apparently. Holy shit. Fucking both berserker animations, but I think if we go, if we're ranking these separately, regular is C. No, I was thinking regular berserker is like here and B tier. People thought that was C. No, 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 no. I think the flip up with the axe spinning in the air, grabbing it and then slamming it down. It's got more than what's going on in C tier. It, it, it still, it still looks cool. It's got something going on. It pulls it off. Maybe it's not the craziest animation, but below Ephraim. All right, I'll give you below Ephraim. Now if we go Hawkeye. Uh, I, I, I'm torn here between B and A. It is a home. I don't know. I'm, I'm so conflicted. You know what? All right, chat. I'm putting Hawkeye up for democracy. The ballot box is going out. Poll is going up. Now, already we've got, wow, 52 votes. And it's not very close at the moment. A definitely in the lead with 52 votes. I think A's got this decisively. I think we're good to end this Hawkeye going into A tier. All right. Next up then. Let's see what Archer brings to the table, if they bring anything. We already skipped the sniper, but I think this is probably one of the easiest rankings on the entire list. You can barely even tell that's a crit animation. Yeah, that's at the very bottom. What the hell is that? Yeah, no, D tier easy. And then Ballista is just, <laughs> yeah, no, actually Ballista animation though, really changes things, you know? Ballista animation, clearly S tier there. That brings us to Sniper, which is basically the same thing, but with a spin, right? I don't know. Ultimately, Sniper isn't even that much better. Like, Sniper is like on this end. It's like, they just cap a D tier at the top and bottom, capped by Sniper and Archer. Next up, Nomad. All right, simple. It's another twirl shoot. Nomadic Trooper is, is different. So if we're just sticking with Nomad off the bat though, is Nomad in here? Uh, wait, Shin and Sue? Sue can be Nomad, Shin can be Nomadic Trooper. Fair enough. If Sue is Nomad, kind of the exact same as Sniper. So I guess it kind of has to go here. It's on a horse, actually, it's on a horse. Being on a horse adds a cool factor. It does do a little hop. So you know what? Fine, C, but low C ultimately. But then for Nomad Trooper, same thing with the bow, but the sword one is a unique one. Holy shit! God damn! That sword one is cool. Got the fucking hops. Got the Jordans. I, I think for the sword one alone, that gets up to like A level. Head pat into giant leap slam down. A tier minimum. S tier. I can't make the call for S. I don't think it's S. And you also have to remember, you also have the bow animation factor into this too, where the bow didn't really do much. Here we go, Ranger coming up next. Another bow twirl. Uh, all right, all right. No, not as much fire. Here's the thing. You see what Nomad Trooper does, and then you see what Ranger does, and it's very underwhelming. I think ultimately it's not a nothing burger like some of the other ones at the bottom. I think you're looking at a C here. Nomad Trooper goes so much harder in comparison. It's just like, what are you doing? Literally Ranger's sword animation is that of sword calves. And that tells me where it's going. I think you can't even go high C there. Not much I can do about that. Uh, next up, next up, we've got Pegasus Knight. All right, classic twirl. Oh, triangle attack. Oh. A lot of twirling, a lot of fucking twirling, just... Uh, it, it's classic twirl slam. These ones always put in a tough spot. 
A lot of them are so similar to others. Uh, top C, bottom B? It's top C, bottom B. That's where I'm debating between right now. But I think I'm settling on top C. And we've got Falcon Knight. You know what? Let's see Falcon Knight and then we'll make a call. Objectively just better. Oh, and we got the triangle attack, too. A lot of animations here for Falcon. Yeah, those are just objectively better. And I think that just cements my opinion of Pegasus Knight kind of staying in C. And then Falcon Knight going into, like, this range, maybe? I really do like the follow-up on that crit of where, like, goes through and then swooshes back. I like that. A bit worse than Ephraim. I guess. It's 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 around here, though. I think ultimately it settles here. All right, next up, Wyvern Rider. Let's see how it compares to the Pegasus stuff. Yeah, it's about the same. And this is Wyvern Lord already. Let's take a look at Wyvern Lord and then we'll take a call on this and see where they both land. Also, Wyvern Knight? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We got Wyvern Rider, Wyvern Lord, Wyvern Knight? What is going on? Looking at these, these are all pretty... They, they give me the exact same as the Pegasus Knight vibes. I'd probably almost rank them the exact same. What the fuck? This is literally three of them here. I can't tell the fucking difference between these three. The one with no legs is the Knight. The Wyvern Knight has no front legs. So this. It's a fucking nice spy book out here. Which one's got missing limbs, which is slightly different color. Like, what the fuck? You know what? Let's just take a look at Wyvern Knight while we're at it before we start ranking them. Because holy shit, I'm getting confused. There's Wyvern Knight. Alright, pretty basic. Ah, man. It, how do you rank these? They're so similar. A knight is high B. I don't agree. Well, I think Ryder is right by here with, with Pegasus, right? I think Lord, you're probably looking also like top C, bottom B. And I'd put knight maybe slightly above Pegasus in terms of preference. This is what I think they fall into on, on, on here. Lord goes by Falcon Knight. Fair enough. Next up, pupil? Pupil. Pupil coming up next, whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh what the uh, what the, what was that? The little stumble to like while throwing the crit is kind of fun. <laughs> Shout out child soldiers, yeah. When you just see a child soldier fucking critting and thundering an enemy to death, it's just so adorable. Yeah, I prefer Amelia's. Amelia's is definitely a bit more funnier in a way, as, as funny as that is, but I think it's more down here. I'd go bottom of B. I much prefer the other ones over this one. It's still got that kind of like funny, weird energy of like, it's kind of like a stumbling, bumbling crit. I think the other one is a lot better. I think Amelia's is a lot better. Next up, we've got Mage. Mage, I'm pretty sure is like a... It's that, right? You do like my reenactment? I, I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it. I, I think ultimately it's uh, whatever. It's not at the very bottom. I guess it's unique in its own way. It, it's kind of just like, uh, I mean, doing that is the mage equivalent of a twirl, right? I don't know how that increases the power of a of a book. I'll leave it to the experts here. That brings us to Sage. What do we got for Sage? That is way cooler. That's so much cooler than Mage. You got the little glowing things, the signs, the like symbols going around. It's so much cooler than Mage. Sound effects are also cool. I think that's a solid B. Maybe even top of B. Maybe here? Yeah, I think this looks good. I think this looks good. It's a fun animation. All right, up next, Mage Knight. Let's see what being on a horse does to a Mage critical hit. That's kind of dope. That's kind of dope. I'll play it again. But maybe that's just the bolting animation being sick. 
I think that's just bolting being sick rather than the animation being sick. Because ultimately, that was just like, that one was just, they put their hand behind their back. They T-posed. Yeah, they kind of just went like, I think that's a low B. I think that's a low B. I think that's around like here. Yeah. I think that's a low B, not a high B. Next up, next up, we've got Monk. Fucking pray for their salvation before you send them to the good lord. Yeah, okay, so Monk, Monk's funny a bit. I like the Monk one. Ultimately, also, how the fuck am I gonna tell these apart? How can I tell those two apart with that fucking cropping? Monk's here! What is Monk doing over here? It's a fucking cape again! What is this cropping, bro? Anyways, I like that one. It's fun. I like the kind of prayer. They're like, uh, just, I'm praying for you, dude. I'm praying that you have some good karma. I think that's another low B, though, ultimately. I think that's too high. Well, I mean, Bishop's about to be ranked into C or lower. Hell, I'll even give it, like, down here. I'll give it, you know, I'll go bottom of B, even. But let's go to Bishop real quick as well. I just kind of points a stick at him. Just kind of like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's like pointing a flashlight at him. And oh my God, I've got to tell these apart. All right, tell me chat, which one of these is a fucking bishop? One with the bold orange. This is a bishop. I guess this is Claire. Okay, makes sense. These are clerics, so they don't have crits because they can't use fucking tomes. But yeah, I think that's down here with Archer. <laughs> Maybe below Archer. Yeah, that, that's like at the, right at the bottom. There, there's nothing there. There's, there's nothing really to look at. Here we go, Valkyrie up next. Oh yeah, that's, what? Nothing happens. There's not even an effect. Am I blind? There's not even an effect. That's it. Those two frames. This is the two frames. Frame one. Frame two. Two frames. Count them. Two whole frames. Definitely going into D tier. Next up, I think Shaman. Shaman male, and then I guess shaman female has a different crit. God damn it. I'm getting exposed once again. Is this shaman? Or is this shaman? Okay, it's it's this one. Cool, it's this one. I guess this is gonna cover for both M and F here. It was similar, similar animations regardless. I've played Sacred Stones! I've played this godforsaken game, okay? It's been a while. Yeah, Shaman. We were ranking the Shaman, right? It, it's around Mage, right? Maybe a bit better than Mage. Maybe in here in this range in C, there's not much going on. Like, it, it's better than Mage, but by how much? I must go on an epic quest to find the Wii U. What would my reward be? The Wii U? What am I even gonna do when I find the Wii U again? Smash it off camera? That's actually probably a good idea. At least that's fun. Anyways, shamans, uh, the video games. You guys like video games, right? I love video games. Woo! And then Druid female. It's pretty much the same. With that, I've got to go... I mean, I think it was a little more interesting than the Shaman, but not that much. Like, this is, like, kind of into this range, just higher up in C. I'm not loving it. B? I'm seeing Bs in chat. I'm not, I'm not really loving this one. How many arguments for S tier? Bro, I'm going to need a fucking dissertation worth of arguments. <laughs> Will this do, sire? You know, that's a really good point. That's a solid point. I don't know if that gets into S tier. Add another 10 to S, no. We are not donoing fucking druid to S tier. We are not doing this. You know, 60 will take you to A. A one dollar from Boy Gamer, I, I mean, that changes everything. Cool guy, two dollars for druid. 63, keep it moving. If you can get to 100, I'll fucking do it. It's about to put him back into B. Now you just gotta give me a lot more. $20 isn't enough to cancel out 60, but that might do this. Fucking hell. Are we gonna rank anything today? Are we just stunlocked? Okay, you're, ba you're back up into A tier, congrats. And I am now introducing that we are ranking, we're ranking Summoner. Hey guys, it's the Summoner. You guys like the Summoner, right? You guys love Summoner. Let's take a look. Yo, he drew a circle. 
Yeah, he drew a circle. That's the that's the animation. He he drew a circle. Honestly impressive from the summoner to draw a perfect circle. Uh I'm going C. <laughs> I'm going C. Let's go C below mage. Unfortunately, there's no hexagons. If there was a hexagon here, then you know that changes the ball game here. Hexagon probably goes instant S. C for circle. Yeah, checks out. So we've got Athos here going with a crazy crit. What's this old man got? Uh, he just happens to be using four blades in that animation, which is kind of not fair, but still okay. An all right animation. Uh, I, I mean, ultimately his animation, I like the sparkles on it. Like again, four blades is carrying so much weight in there. I think the sparkles that he was throwing around was fun. Ultimately, I think it's a high C, low B animation. You no, know I'll, I'll be generous. I'll go low B and let's keep it simple there. Damn, fucking slammed on him. Cat jams, let's go. Yo, those monsters be critting. Bam. Damn, calm going through it right now, Jesus. Damn! Death Goyle calling the shot! That's kind of a sick one. Hand axe! Damn! They're fucking going ham. Actually going ham in this one. I love these animations. Buff. Spider triple stab. Cyclops. Another big slam. Draco zombie. What do their crits look like? Ah, uh, it's just a crit sound, basically. That's a cool, cool cool compilation though. A lot of them were just adding a little sound effect on top and that's really it. But I love those sprite works and designs on those monster crits. Anyways, let's see the mannequins. Let's see their crits. What do they got? All right, not much going on in that one. Mer crit. Oh, we got to Zephyr. All right. The, the mannequins didn't have a lot. They were just kind of just doing their usual shtick, but just with a new sound effect when they do hit. So for the mannequins, they all were ultimately the same. I think they kind of go into top of C range. Again, the wind up breath into like bleh. It's equivalent of like a charge up or like, again, like a twirl. I'd say maybe even mid C, like around where the mages are at. But we got a big boy coming up, a big boy to rank, King Zeph. King Z, King Z, King Z. Oh shit. Holy fuck. That's a cool animation. <laughs> Magic Sword's just gonna be blap. Same thing, I guess. That's such a cool animation. I like those a lot. Those are super cool. Let's get over to FE6. And this is a <laughs> fuck me, dude. These are playable units. It's not gonna have fucking Zephiel in it. You know, who re who's repping Zeph? Who should rep Zeph? Zephiel has blonde hair and purple looking. So, uh, yeah, I think those are S. I really love Zephyrs. They were super unique, super cool. I love the little touches that they put, like the slight twist of the sword. He got the full spin. Yeah, Zephyl S tier, such a cool animation. Which brings us to Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle, but what does he have awaiting for us in terms of crits? Holy shit. Uh, Rip Niles, holy. What is going on? 
What is this animation? Is the game breaking? What is this? What, what, what the fuck was that? Anyways, let's take a, one more look at this. I, I really liked it. I forget. Is this like the animation for Areshka? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> how much of this is the tome animation and how much of it is the crit animation is what I'm asking. Everything after the swirly vortex or hand things. So this. So that's the crit where he goes like, okay, cool. I think that fucking huge fucking thing is cool. It's, it's really cool. I don't know if it's S, but it's sick. Please tell me Nurgle's here. Nope. Use Niles for, yeah, I'll use Niles. Niles is the one getting blown to bits. So Niles can represent uh, Nurgle's crit because he's the one being fucking exploded. Nils, Niles, however you say, it. I think it's Nils, right? I think it goes into A and I'd go like above Hawkeye. What does that leave? Who is left? We got Leon, let's see him. Oh shit. That's a cool lead up. That's a really cool lead up there. I, I really liked that animation. The whole like, Wah! that pose, it's a cool pose. In terms of ranking then, representing Leon, it is Dancer, who I actually, oh my God, I don't know the name of the dancer in FE8 off the top of my head. Fake fan, I know I'm a fake fan, okay? You don't need to tell me, all right? I, I think Leon gets into bottom of A. I really, I think of the spell ones, it it's a cool one. It's a cool one. And it's on par or similar to, to Nurgle. I really liked it. Next up, I think it's just the dragons, right? Demon dragon, fire dragon, and demon dragon, or demon king. I'm not gonna rank these, we're just gonna let these ride. You got he done? Up first. Oh shit. Fire dragon up next. Oh shit. That's a cool one. And then the Demon King. Yo, that's a cool animation. <laughs> and then we got Ravager. Oh shit! Fuck him, hit him with a hook! And, in, and yeah, Merry Christmas. So we have our tier list to the right. Do we have any major adjustments or last second arguments that need to be made? I look at this in terms of the classes and I think it looks good. I think our S's are Zef, Gonzalez, Lin, Swordmaster, Warrior. Gonzalez tier, do you all wanna hear the Gonzalez scream again? So fucking good, man. I think that brings us to the end of the tier list. Here's the FE7 unique characters, obviously with some characters representing other characters in case Nils here representing Nurgle. And then we've also got FE6 here with Zeph represented by Percy and uh, Sue and um, Shin. Yeah, Shin. Regardless, I hope you had fun both at home and in stream. As always, as always, thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you had fun reliving some GBA crits. A good night to you all.